there is the shot. All four Jersey winners. Remco Evenepoel wins the King of the Mountains competition. Sepkus will go on to take the overall general classification and take home La Roca. The eight riders of Jumbo Visma come together. They've all played such a huge role in this win for Sepkus. We talk about the fact that they've won all three Grand Tours in the same season and it's been done with these three men. Three different riders, three different Grand Tours and they're all going to stand together on the podium this evening. A proud, proud moment for Sepkus. His... Love you, Dad. Love you, Mom. Hello, Durango. It's deserved at the end of a great three weeks of racing. And even fittingly, after all the work that they have done on the front for Jumbo Visma, after the first passage, as now Sudal Quickstep decide that they want to try and kick things on at the head of the peloton. Coming through, it was Alpha de Kerning who took full control. Caden Groves comes through the final Skoda Intermediate Sprint of this year's Vuelta. He takes the maximum points, 20 points to him. Massive attack on the left-hand side from Leonard Kemner and Nico Denz of Border Hansgrohe. 44.1 kilometers remain. The intermediate sprint is done, and now Border Hansgrohe are wanting to try and shake things up. He's gone full aerodynamic once again, and in the counter-attack, Remco Evenepoel decides that he wants to try and bridge across to Kemner, Denz, and Costa. Six riders at the head. Filippo Ganna, Caden Gross, Remco Evenepoel, Leonard Kemner, Nico Denz and Rui Costa. Round the final hairpin at the bottom corner. There's Leonard Kemner who accelerates out of the corner. Caden Groves on his wheel and they're under the flamme rouge. Now trying to come in here is Intermarche Circus Wanty and they're trying to disrupt the chase. And the this is going to the breakaway as they've blocked the road. They did it perfectly there, but there is hesitation now in that breakaway. They've gone completely across the road. They I don't believe time. it. They had time, but is it enough time? They can't be messing around. DSM Fermanic are there with Alberto Dainese. Milan Menton has moved himself up. Here is Matteo Catania. And is this the end of the breakaway? They almost had it in the bag. And now Remco Evenepoel opens up the sprint. It's all back together with 500 metres remaining. And now it's Remco Evenepoel who's trying to go for a fourth stage victory. Caden Groves is trying to rush the gap. And here comes the green jersey. Leonard Kemner is trying to accelerate. And Caden Groves is having difficulty to try and come round the King of the Mountains winner. Groves is coming through. He's looking for his third victory. He's looking to become the first Australian winner of the green jersey. The breakaway didn't make it, but Groves from the breakaway takes the win. He wins into Madrid. It's stage 21, and he's a third Grand Tour stage in this Vuelta for Caden Groves, the Australian. History is made with Sepkus winning his first Grand Tour. Jumbo Visma complete the triple and they do it within the same season. Jumbo Visma take first, second and third on the general classification. They win the team classification with complete dominance and this man is now a Grand Tour winner. Remco Evnepoel was the first to launch, which was brilliant. But he decided to make that move. Ghana was coming, but Groves, he was smartly laid off the wheel of Evnepoel, gave himself something to rush at. And Denz, who struggled in that breakaway at times, got everything out to secure himself a podium finish. The Eagle from Durango, Sepkus, is now a Grand Tour winner. The 29-year-old is awarded La Roja road racing in one of the world's best teams and now wins on the road and he's a Grand Tour winner.